Good, uh, I have the script running at the moment, and as you can see, the loop is doing its job, so it's printing out the working hours in the command line here every five seconds. And, and now it's 15 past 12, so that is between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Now we'll go ahead and add some lines here. So um, I'm thinking of keeping these statements here, these print statements. Uh, but also adding more lines here which correspond to file handling methods uh, which will access this host file and modify it depending on the time. Now something that you should be aware about is this host file can only be modified by the administrator which is if I run the Python program uh, I would have to open a command line uh, to run the command line as administrator. So if you run a Linux or Mac you do the same by using sudo. For instance in this case uh, I open this command line by just right clicking in here. So shift right click and open command window here. But that will not run the command line as an administrator. So uh, which underlies that with this simple console I cannot access this host file. So in other words you need to run your Python program uh, with a command line or terminal uh, where you have administrative rights. And for the sake of building the program it's more wise to just copy this host file and just paste it here where your script file is. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because here I'll not have to open a command line as administrator every time I, I test my script. So once I make sure that the, the, the things are working well, then I just uh, change the path. So at the moment I'll not work with this path. I'll work with this, let's say, hosts temp for temporary, and which is directly uh, equal to the hosts file name, because hosts is just here in the same folder with website blocker.py. And besides making a working copy of this host file, you also want to make a backup copy of the host file just in case you make some errors there in your in your Python code and you delete the file or you just delete some content from your existing host file. And I'm just gonna copy this and just put it here. So paste it there in my D drive and yeah i'll just close the path of the real host file for now until i have a working script that modifies this host file successfully this one here great now mm, i can open this actually here on the right and close it here mm -hmm. Good. I think this is a good layout for you to, to see the code well. And yeah, what do we have to do now? Well, we're checking the current time against these two other daytime values. And we have two scenarios. So in the first scenario, we are between these two times. And in that case, when we are between these two times, uh, we want to make sure that we have four lines of text here in the host file where each corresponds with each of these uh, list items. Of course, together with uh, redirecting IP in the front. So the same format as you see here, but without the comment tag. And here we can go ahead and open this host file now uh, with the open method and write the list items in the host file. However, we may also want to check first if these four lines already exist in the host file. Because the host file can have two statuses. So the first status is the host file is without these four lines uh, there. And the other status is the host file has this, these four lines. Therefore, you want to check for them. And to check these lines, you first need to read the, the host file in Python. So you want to apply a read method to, to, your, to your file and then maybe add a loop that iterates through this list and in, in each iteration you, you, you apply a conditional that says if a list item in content where content is a text you have read from the host file 
So if that item is in the content, then don't do anything otherwise, add that uh, item in the host file. So let's go ahead and do that. With open hosts path, uh, sorry, that would be host temp. Host path is a path that we'll be using later. So host temp, we want to open that file. Uh, using, uh, well, if we use uh, the read method, so R, we could read the, the, the file content, but we wouldn't be able to write within this statement, within the with statement. And if you pass W, you wouldn't be able to read. Uh, the middle solution there is to use R+. Plus. With that, you'll be able to read and write. So S file. And yeah, before writing anything, we want to first check there. So let's say content equals to file.read. And what content will contain is the entire text of the host file. And actually, we could uh, print that out just to, to see uh, what we have this far. So normally, you don't have, want to print that out, but in this case, just for demonstration. And it's also good to check where we are this far. So Python website blocker and... So yeah, uh, we got the text of the host file printed out. And before that, working hours was printed out. And now every five seconds, the uh, working hours and the content of the host file are being printed out. So I'll stop this. Uh, we, we're doing well. Uh, now that we have the content, uh, we want to iterate through the website list. So for website in website list, hmm, uh, for instance, the first item will be this one. So if facebook.com with website in content, So if this is in this content, in this text, and we are in the working hours in this part of the uh, uh, if conditional, so if Facebook is there already, we don't want to do anything. Because that will uh, already block our, our Facebook website. Uh, so we pass pass there. <laughs> Which means that Python will go ahead and check for other lines. So it will go um, here. So it says else, else will not be executed in this case because if was executed. So if that is not executed, then Python goes to the next line and it sleeps for five seconds. And then once it sleeps for five seconds, the loop starts over again and the condition is being evaluated again. Working hours is, is printed out if we are between these two times. And then we open the file again in the second iteration of the while loop. And we read the text and then we iterate in our list and check if uh, any of our uh, list items is in the text of the host file. And then we pass to the next lines if it is not there. And if it's there, we want to file not right uh, you do something like website and uh, yeah we, we're almost there uh, we can check what we get this far so that you understand so I executed this and now you see that uh, www.facebook.com was added in the host file and then the next item of the list facebook.com and then my Hotmail account, and so on. So the four items of the list. Which means the structure of our code is working well. Uh, we just need to work a bit on the style, on the, on the text formatting. And so we're printing out the website, but we also want the, the redirect IP in there. Actually, the first one should be redirect variable, this one. And then according to the host file style, uh, we should have a space there. 
as you can see uh, it says the IP address and the host name should be separated by at least one space and that's what we'll do mm, so redirect uh, what you can do here is plus one space within double quotes and then we have plus website and then to avoid the text being passed in one single line uh, you want to, to pass here the backslash and special character uh, that will create break lines between these uh, text items mm, great now I can check this uh, well nothing will happen because Facebook is already there so I'm just gonna stop this and delete this And yeah, now it's working well. And by the way, if you have an antivirus in your system, uh, you probably have some warning there because host file, uh, the host file is a bit sensitive. So your antivirus will probably we will be notifying you that, that some program has is modifying you, your host file. Uh, if you want, you can just uh, you can cancel this. Uh, don't do any cleaning. You don't have to clean it because you know that you're the one who is accessing that host file. So cancel that. And yeah, it's working well, I, I believe. And we are done with the first part of the conditional. So now uh, we are in this time. Uh, which is between these two hours, but if you were, let's say, mm, 13 here, uh, stop this, uh, check again. Uh, in this case, we get printed out these fun hours, uh, but the, the text in the host file will be still there. So what we want to do next is remove this text from the host file when this part of the conditional is satisfied. And we'll do that in the next lecture. So, see you there.